Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. I'm here today with 10 Things Tuesday. So we need to use up 10 things on Tuesday. Um, so if you haven't seen this series yet, this is kind of episode two um, in me basically saying you have to film until you've used up 10 things from this basket of things that I keep on my desk that has old book pages or digitals that I've printed that I didn't use for whatever project I was doing, um, things I've collected, happy mail, packaging, different stuff. So today I have this, it's like a handmade paper, kind of yellow and um, white paper. I have this beautiful piece of gold wallpaper that was part of Happy Mail. I really want to use that. It's got some birds. Um, I have a couple pieces, three pieces of jelly print. So there's two, three, four, five jelly printing. I have this this was left over from my children's Christmas candy. It's this chocolate box and I thought maybe we could do something with this. And I have this cardstock printed like list of chores I think. An old book page from the 50s of a woman knitting and this is like um, cut out from an art book. It's like a light you know like an image with a moon and like I think yeah it goes this way. It's just a beautiful light and this is um, an image of like a snow queen. I think this is the snow queen and this little toad down here. So that is what I'm up to today. So let's get started. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is just look and see is there anything that I would want to use together. Um, so immediately that kind of strikes me. Maybe this. No that. So I'm thinking something moon feeling with this. So I'll put the others aside while we work on this, these two. So I'm going to try to use these two together. And first I'm going to get something to use as a base. Here's some folder. Um, so maybe we want to make like a journal card. This could be a moon. I wonder if I have, I just um, swapped out my box of word snippets this morning. I went to a larger box because if you've been watching my videos, you always see me with this little tiny jar of word snippets. Well, I'm kind of like, I don't know, I need a bigger box now. It feels like it's way too like, <laughs> I don't know, it's way too big, but um, and maybe I'll never find what I'm looking for, but we'll see. Um, I'm thinking it would be good if I could find Mischievous Elves Watch Delightedly. You know, I just got this fairy book and I'm wondering if I could use this and also make use of an image in here that I saw of like an elf type fairy. And then this could end up being, well, that's like a, an elf kind of guy. Um, there he is. This could be like ephemera for my fairy journal. So let's tear this out. Okay. okay. <laughs> so he's a little obnoxious looking with his mouth wide open, um, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna start by gluing down Make sure I'm fully in frame here. There we go. My like feed, my display feed is upside down today on my phone because sometimes my phone and my camera don't like one another. And I need to get a new glue stick because this one is cranky. It's almost gone. But so I'm just going to stick that down. And then, um, yeah, this glue stick is done. <laughs> Let me get a new one. There we go. And then I will also, I think, glue this here. And then I'm not going to use the entire, the entire piece. I'll just sort of have the moon coming in from the side. This morning I organized my whole bin of these things. Um, <laughs> I got this new basket yesterday that is so perfect for my desktop. And I'm feeling really good about that <laughs> because it will help me to stay more organized. But yeah, if I do enough of these 
Tuesday 10, I will use up everything that I have hoarded in these basket, this basket, and then um, I won't have this big basket of stuff anymore. I'll have a whole basket of ready to go ephemera. But I just want to see if I can also kind of do two things at once here by making ephemera for an upcoming journal at the same time instead of just random ephemera. One thing I do need to get is a new glue book. Here we go. From my stack of books over here that I've used the covers of, I keep some of them for glue books. So let's add our little elf down here. Okay. And then we'll get our word snippet. The whole idea here is to not obsess over every detail of what you're making. Just go with the flow, have fun, use stuff up, right? Because the more we obsess over like every little detail, the, the longer it's going to take to kind of accomplish getting the things that we want to use up, used up. And we save them so that we would use them. So let's use them. There's also this beautiful yellow butterfly here that I think would be kind of nice with this moon. So maybe the butterfly will kind of override this little guy a bit. I'm gonna get my art glitter glue. I have to fill my, refill my glue bottles today too. That's another job and I haven't used this today so it's probably gooby. Oh, it definitely is. <laughs> there we go. Will there be glue? Let's see. <laughs> Where's my pin? Okay, pop our butterfly right there. Up the edges here need a little more glue. I did not get all the way to the edge. There we go. This one might need some more glue too. Oddly in the middle, it seems to be lifting. There we go. Might be because I'm gluing it to the strange paper. There. Okay. And then I will use this piece of paper after, um, cause I have to go through it. Like there's definitely something I'll use in my fairy journal here. Signs that fairies may be near. So that I will put into my figure it out later pile so that I'm not taking forever to do that right now. Um, just putting my pen in my glue. Sorry about that. Okay. So what else would I want to put on here before I do some inking? I don't know if there's any little kind of a bit or bob that would be nice on here. Just thinking in this area, something maybe to cover up these, these words. I should have, actually, can I pull this off? Let's see. Will it, no, it won't destroy anything. Yeah, we'll put it there. Let's just re-glue it again. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll cover up the words that were left over on there. Okay. So now I'm just going to ink a little bit. Um, so I have to get everything ready for today. This is my first uh, bit of work I'm doing today. There we go. I cleaned my whole desk up this morning and it's like, it feels so good to have a clean desk. Gonna ink the sky. Let's get rid of all this white here and it will kind of fade it into the background and make it feel more like a design feature. I 
Okay, so now I'll cut this journal card out. take a little off the side as well. Here we go. And then the only thing left to do really is to stitch around it um, and I might add a bit of gilding wax. A little bit of gilding wax here. This brush is a little too soft for gilding wax. Where is my gilding wax brush? Uh, right here. Just in the corners, maybe a little here. we go. A little more in this corner. All right, so that is done and ready to stitch around. So this is our little elf in delight. Okay, next. <laughs> Let's move on to this, um, this lovely knitting lady. I think I just want her. And I think that I want to use this in like a stitching kind of journal. Um, and then I'm looking at this too, and it's like a list of, like a list of things like, um, chores, like where you would, if you did this, you would get points at the bottom. So I'm thinking about like <laughs> using this and using this and putting her on there. And instead of all these chores, she's just knitting, which is what she should be doing. Because who wants to do all these chores? I'm just going to tear her out. And we're not going to include the kiddo. Because this woman, she should be undaunted by chores and problems and responsibilities. So we're going to just take her glue her down right there and I will tear the bottom maybe we'll tear a little from this side as well Just clean this edge up a little more. Okay. And then I feel like we need some kind of red. Thinking about a ribbon or a lace or something up here. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I also have this one. Yeah, I think maybe like across here. And I think what I'll do is just stitch this onto here. Yeah, I'm just gonna stitch this on. Give me one moment. Okay, so that has been stitched on and I just have to Get rid of this excess here. And then I think I will round the edges a little. Okay. And I think I want to ink this with a bit of red around the edges.
And I think that would be a cool like tuck spot or a pocket. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna call that one done. I'm pretty much happy with it, I think. Let me just see. We could add another another layer of lace there. That might be nice and I'll just glue it on so that'll hide that yellow stitching maybe. Maybe a little bit of inking as well. Sorry, first time using the glue today. It's going to be a little bit slow. <laughs> Just doing a bead of glue down here. So I hope that you're making with me. I hope you're doing something. <laughs> cute okay number two <laughs> now we will work with let's do the tough one now that this box let's see what we want to do when I first got this box I thought like it could be cool to use this somehow but like it does occur to me it'll be a little challenging to cover the um the dimensions of this but I kind of have an idea um so let's just open this box up flatten it down and then I think the idea is going to be we're going to collage around it put something cool behind it and then maybe stitch the edges and the back will be um like a journal like a journaling space so I think what I'll do is just cut it here at this edge and it doesn't need to be perfect because I'm going to trim it I'm not going to be using this flappy edge so I don't know what my children are doing upstairs but they are loud okay so let's think yeah, I think I'll keep this on the inside so first things first I think we'll start to collage around the edges so I need some kind of a nice like paper to do that like maybe we've got some scrap here um, of this and also I could use another page of my um, my 10 and I'll use this one so I think what I'll do this will be in behind here this will be a background for something so now we just need to decide like what is the dimension of this going to look like so we have to protect the plastic we don't want to cut the plastic off um, and the plastic goes to this edge. So I will cut along this line here. Get rid of those. So we still have the plastic. Um, then we'll do the same thing at the top. And I can clean this up later, like make it even. For now, we'll just kind of get our basic dimensions down. Just get a piece of paper to do some gluing on and to lay the surface to. So we need to cover just this side, not the spine, just this side. So these edges off this oops, vintage wallpaper okay this 
is a vintage wallpaper digital and I'm just going to use it to kind of like um, go around the edges. Just glue both the box and the paper. that wide enough. <laughs> yeah, that's better. But I also want to kind of tear it a little, like more freeform shaped. But it has to cover, and it will. Okay. edge to make sure we cover it but we don't cover too much of the plastic so we want to try to maintain as much of that plastic as I can and then this side yep. But that I think I lost um, my camera for a moment there I had to switch my battery out it didn't give me its normal signal so what did I do I just finished the collaging with the um, the wallpaper digital around the edges added some ink now I'm going to put in my background from this jelly print so this is going to go in here so now we have this and I chose, um, this is an old, it's cut from an old scrapbook, like an old um, Victorian scrapbook. It's a paper doll. And I'm going to use that on the inside of here so that she'll be inside this window. So let's glue her down. And then I will um, get her in there and then she will be trapped inside there with stitching. I will stitch the back of that. So let's just make sure we put her in the right spot here. Look at that amazing hat. Mm, yeah, a little more this way so we get her hand. Yes, okay. Let's make sure she's all stuck down. Okay. So there's that. Now just give me a quick stitching break and I will, um, actually I have to back this as well. So I'll back this, I'll stitch this, and I'll come back, I'll stitch everything and show you where we are with these three pieces. Okay, we are back and stitched around. So here is our elf all stitched around. And then this finished lovely Victorian doll in this uh, window. Um, and I stitched a little bit of fabric on the top of that one just for the fun of it. And then I just stitched around this one as well. So three down and we still have a few pieces to go. So what do we have left? Let's grab them. We have three to go. We have three pieces left. Oh, sorry, four, four pieces. Okay, so what's next? Uh, what's next, what's next? Hmm. Let's go with the big book page. And I was thinking like, about you know how you could make an envelope 
a book page envelope with this, but I think it would be a little tall because I, I don't know. I love this little toad and I love these there, but I mean, if I really think about it, I'm probably just so in love with toads that like, this isn't even a good image of a toad. It's the back of the toad. <laughs> so really she is the pretty lovely part of this whole thing. Um, and I think it's too small to make an envelope out of. So I'm thinking about making just like a tag or something with just her. So yeah, I have no idea why it is so hard for me to sacrifice this little toad here, but this is me and I'm <laughs> impossible sometimes. Though I think I will, I will be able to sacrifice him. Sorry, little toad. <sighs> what can I do with a piece this large? What can I do? Hmm. <laughs> Stop. It's like somehow he looks even cuter here with the, when he's by himself. Like, ugh. okay. It's in the trash. It's in the trash. All right. So now we have this. Um, and I think what I want to do maybe is just make a nice little journal card. So I will glue it onto a book page to start here just to give it a little more strength and then think about what we would collage with it or something. Hmm. There we go. Maybe like a little verse of some kind, but that's always challenging to find like a poem that's kind of perfect. Let me look in this book. This is Come Follow Me, The Secret World of Elves and Fairies and Gnomes and Trolls. So let's take a look and see. tell a story with this picture. So this is the story of the little house and I think somehow what I would like to do is incorporate her in the story of this little house. I'm just going to Shorten the verse to only half, though. And we need a little house. Hmm. Some kind of, like, story here. I'm looking at these images, and for whatever reason, the printing of these birds on this page is, like, very weird. I don't know why. I love the um, the tree, but like these, it's like, it hurts your eyes to look at. It's like double printed or something. It's very weird. So I was thinking I would use a little bit of that. Hmm. What was on the other side of that page? Was there a little house there? Oh yeah, there's like a big house. Okay. That won't work. It's too big. And it has that little gnome guy. So we need like a little house of some kind, I think. I will make this come to fruition. <laughs> I 
have a little house stamp. Okay, so I found this little house stamp that I've had um, and I've never used it. And I'm thinking of stamping the little house on this piece of cork. That's cute. Okay. And then I will just tear around it a bit. Okay, so then I need to ink up this text a bit. That would go like right there over here or maybe even down here yeah so I'm thinking like this this and then this Is my glue book. Um, oh, <laughs> it's right here. Okay, put that aside. Let's get fully on screen here. There we go. All right, and I'm going to just glue this little bit of green. house and we'll put the little house right there and then I think I'm gonna add another bit of this green it's like nice leafy foliage up here to just kind of bring it all together a little better art glitter glue I think to hold this edge down onto this cork this cork itself is well glued down though okay Alrighty, now we just need to back this piece with some journaling paper. And maybe I'll use this red. And I'm going to stitch around this one too, so.
Okay, and then we'll just ink this up. The edges. Okay, so all that needs now is stitching. And I think that's super cute. Okay, next. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna keep this owl. I think it's too blurry. It hurts my eyes to look at it. <laughs> the same is true with this poor bird. It's sad to throw it away, but it's just too much. It's like a misprint. Okay, now we have three more pieces to go. I feel like I'm moving at a snail's pace today. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's go with the beautiful wallpaper. This one's going to be challenging because, like, I feel like I want to use the entire piece. Um, you know what it would make would be a really nice envelope. So let's, let's do that. We'll back it with something um, nice and thick. Like, not super thick, but maybe something that's, like, the weight of, like, um, copy paper anyway, so that it's a little thicker. So let's do this first. We'll just glue it down here. Um, yeah, I think that's a good weight for an envelope. So now we will just trim around the edge. I think to have the birds centered. I think we can do one fold like this. We're not centered, but like, you know, focal. And I'll try to make this a little large. do is I'll glue the envelope closed first. Come a little off the bottom. And then we'll just open it up for a moment to just add a little bead of our glitter glue to the bottom to just seal the bottom. Okay, then Gonna put a little slot in the top so that it's easier to put something into and then a little ink there just to get rid of that white okay and then a little trim trim at the top all right so now we have this super cute envelope and it's not glued together perfect all right, two to go, two to go. We have this and this. Um, could they be used together almost? I sort of feel like, yes. Um, I want to tear around this. There we go. 
And I feel almost like this is like a lamp light and a moon. Um, and that they, they could go well on here, I think. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I think I need a different focal point for this. <laughs> okay. Let's come back to this. Let's just work with this for a moment and we'll think about the other one for a bit. I'm just also looking over here at these yellow flowers and this gray. No. Too much um, of the same color. This one's going to be my Waterloo. I don't know. It's going to be a little challenging. What would I put on here? Or how would I frame this? I've got some. Oh, this is better. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Let's commit to this a little bit. Okay, so let's just glue this on here. This is another jelly print, ironically. So we're actually going to use up more than 10 things today, which is good. Um, so if we put that on here... And it all at least has this kind of concept of being about light. So let's just take that a little further and we'll ink it around with a little more yellow. And I'm also just going to hit the edges of the, um, the torn paper with some yellow too so that that white goes away. And then what I'm thinking about is like how moths go to light or something and I have like these oh that could be nice too I have this hmm this is from a release the craft and winter kit and it might be exactly the beautiful thing to kind of bring it together so I'm thinking about like how moths go to the light you know that that sort of concept okay Just looking for some words. Hmm. It's always hard to find words. Okay, here we go. Now that I've said that, I found something great. I see the moon and the moon sees me. I think I need a little bit of like fabric or something. <clears throat> a little bit of fabric. little more of this gold but not the not the embroidery just the fabric itself I think a bit of a larger piece okay so like a couple pieces of those maybe a little bit of this black book paid or um, old spine book spine and then put all of that together so, yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
You know what I should do actually is just stitch this. Just stitch it for a moment. Hold on. Okay, so we've made like a little cluster with the sewing machine. Okay, so that. Then we'll just add it on there with some Fabri-Tac. While I'm waiting for the glue, maybe I'll move a few things off to the side here a bit. Because we have too much stuff in the way here. <laughs> Let's get back in the center of the desk. My glue is slow today. There we go. Okay. Yay, I like this now. I wasn't sure where I was going to go with this piece, but as it turns out, it was good for a background. So anyway, we will back it into some coffee dyed paper, but I think first maybe another book page. It needs a little more. Actually, I'll just double over this. that we'll need is a little stitching around. left and I think I might even have an idea for it as I have a few pieces that I've set aside here that I want to use um, if I have everything that I would need but maybe paper doll bodies over here. I think I do. I'm sort of looking for just, I want to make like paper dolls with birds. Um, there's a body and there is the rest of a body. Yay, those even go together. Okay, let's work with what we've got here. Okay, so I need a bit of a smaller head. This one maybe, um, I'm not going to use these. I'm just going to use this flower, I think. I'll set that aside. You never know. What other bird heads do I have? Do I have an even smaller bird head? I do. We have this one. I think that's the smallest one. So I think I'll go with that one. Keep these handy in case, but... 
we'll see where this goes. So the first thing that we need to do is cut out this. Um, this is a little paper doll from Icapilli Image Imaginarium on Etsy. I absolutely love her paper dolls. They're really awesome. Sorry for that. Okay. And we're just going to collage this a little here. Oh, actually, I just got an idea. I'm going to remove this bit from the bottom of the bird. I want her to have like a bit of a... Oh, i got to move up so you can see me. I'm going to have to have a bit of a whimsical kind of placement of this. So that she looks like she's kind of floating on air or something. Yeah, and that'll give her like a collar. So let's go ahead and glue this stuff down. Okay, I've always been a huge fan of like anthropomorphic, especially birds, but anthropomorphic everything. Okay, and I think I'll take this flower maybe and put it here or here. Hmm, yeah, maybe there. big corsage. Okay, so now we need some ink. Not black. Okay, now that all kind of fades. And then maybe a little bit of like words or something on there. That would be good. What does this say? Um, <sighs> nothing. Nothing of value. Is there anything on this fairy page that I cut earlier? Now if you happen to make friends with a fairy or two, sometimes they'll tap on your window in the middle of the night
that could be a fun little verse. So, now if you happen to make friends with a fairy or two, sometimes they'll tap on your window in the middle of the night. And then can I use one more sentence? They want you to see how beautifully the stars are twinkling. Yes, that makes me very happy. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, almost. All right, there we go. We got that down. Now I'm going to go over it with a little bit of yellow ink. I don't want to darken this up, but I do want to get rid of the white, white. Okay. So now we just need to back this with some paper for journaling on. trim this out I'm going to stitch the rest and then we'll do a final review of what we made okay so the end result of our second Tuesday 10 we've made a few nice pieces of ephemera so we made this journal card and this envelope and another journal card and another journal card it was mostly a journal card kind of day um, this could be a pocket or a tuck spot I think and then this is a journal card. Could also be the front cover of a journal, I think, if we wanted to have that on the cover, because it's got that beautiful Victorian paper doll inside. And then this journal card. So yeah, I'm happy with what we made. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces out of our 10 items. And I think I also actually did use a few more than the 10. So I'm happy about that. Thank you for joining me for this little ephemera making excursion. I hope you made some ephemera too. And I will talk to you again um, very soon. And until then, next Tuesday. Bye for now. <laughs>